Here comes lunch. John Collier, John Collier, the windows to watch. Hold on, hold on. Well, it's going to be a wet one, that's for sure. I'm sure the van's being covered in seawater. Hmm, that's looking tasty. And it's the right tourist trap here in Burnley, isn't it? That's what I worry about all the time. This is my favourite. Oh, yeah. I don't think we should be doing this. Yeah, it does. Do you want to put the bin here and then I can yeah. rubbish straight in the bin? Okay. All right, let's get some chicken stock in this. We are, uh, need to buy some more, Bunny. Okay, I'll put it on uh, my list. I mean, we need some more olive oil as well. We're a good team. Nice little spot, this, isn't it, for sitting whilst you're cooking? It is. You can Perfect. beak out on the world. I've always sat like a pixie. <laughs> I was attacked by a bag of tea bags. I do my portion control just by snipping the corner off the bag. This is my favourite spaghetti tool. Little chopstick. Really splits it up in the pan easily. Carrots are in. Two onions left, I think. Can't remember now. One or two. Don't know what I'm thinking. I should have browned those meatballs first. Hmm, that's looking tasty. Right. Let's get some spaghetti. There we go. There's your dinner. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for cooking. You're welcome. Well, dinner was very tasty. It was. Delicious. Big wash up though, isn't it? Yeah. That's the price of mm -hmm. spaghetti mm -hmm. and meatballs. Boom, 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 boom. Do you fancy a movie tonight? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I don't really do want to play a game. Away. I haven't got enough brain power tonight no, for a game. There was once a time when a vehicle going past would put us on edge a little. We ummed and ahed about getting this TV, but we're very glad we've got it now. In Tierra del Fuego, land of fire. A blighted and loveless country on the Earth's furthest rim lives a community of the dirtiest, most vulgar, and least civilized people. It's certainly a windy one today, folks. Uh, wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour, they say, this morning. So the battery is 85% so far this morning and we didn't move at all yesterday so i think that's pretty good going for being in cold weather and uh, just dealing with the sun charlie brown's almost finished making the bed clash a bit with the blankets oh my goodness me she clashes with the blanket that's what i worry about all the time when i'm dressing have you seen the waves coming over yeah I'm sure the van's being covered in seawater here as well. The waves are few and far between at the moment, so difficult to catch on video. That's a bracing walk along that uh, headland today, isn't it? Are there people walking yet? Oh yeah, of course there are. They've been caught out by this weather. It's turned very cold wet and I think there's a little bit of ice in that rain as well. Chicken curry tonight aren't we? Homemade. Well not homemade. <laughs> <laughs> not homemade but put together. Put together. Fry the chicken and yeah. veg with a curry sauce. With a curry sauce yeah. that'd be easy. And what about chapatis? 
Have you looked up how to yeah, make chapatis? I have, how to make chapatis. So this recipe says you have to use wholemeal and plain flour mixed together. Oh really, yeah. Uh, a teaspoon of salt and olive oil and then hot water. Then you have to knead it for five to ten minutes, divide it into pieces, roll them into a ball and then let, let them rest. How are we going to roll them flat? Well, we we'll use <laughs> we could use the fly guillotine. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, they have to roll them flat <laughs> yeah. until very thin, like a tortilla. Yeah, that sounds quite a lot of work, really. Yeah, in a small space, because you'd have to, you need a floured surface. Yeah, they make well, a lot of, out, make lot of waste. Mess. Can you buy chapatis? Of you can. <laughs> Let's just buy some chapatis then and make life easy. What we should do life is too short to make chapatis in the make van. Them at home and freeze them. Good idea. And just bring them. Even weather. Yeah, this weather is really closing in now. So I think we might be a bit silly if we go off into the forest today. Uh you know, it's 50 miles per hour winds and you said it was going up to 55. We don't want to get blown around on the roads, do we? It's just risking it for no real purpose anyway should we go for a windy walk Let's instead go. yeah go and stretch our legs okay it's well it's air. um it's Tidy leggings and everything bit. then yeah lots of layers it's yeah it's cold well it's going to be a wet one that's for sure she's putting all her clubber on waterproof leggings on yeah good idea <laughs> them over the top so they don't fall down. Should have brought our gaiters shouldn't we? And then we wouldn't get wet feet. It's not the water going in from the outside in. I think that it will just run down your leggings and go into the top that's all. Right I'm all done up like a dog's dinner. Still gonna get wet mind and um, you won't hear the audio well, you will hear the audio. It would be absolutely atrocious because if it's heavy rain and sea spray, I can. the only camera I can use is this phone because it's the only thing I've got that's waterproof. Okay, are you all done up? Yeah. Uh, do you want to do this last bit up? Well, I can't really. I've got right. my scarf down here. Okay. Keeping me warm. No, you can, you see. Mm -hmm. I'll do it to that and then do that top button. And that'll, that'll be fine. Okay, let's go. Well, after all that blooming effort, it's like a summer's day out here now. Keep an eye on the turn. Nature never stands any nonsense. Okay, what's the way it's going to be like? Hmm, well it's rather fresh over the top. Well, we're hardly Scott of the Antarctic, but wet weather walking can be real fun. Especially if you've got a nice cosy van to come back to. All the oyster catchers are busy munching. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'll let you get yours sorted. I'll have to stand out here. It's not really been that bad, so we're thinking of moving on. We're not moving on we we'll probably come back here and sleep here again tonight because it's so nice here um, but i think we'll go out and do a few things out in the forest uh, hat hair. Hat hair. did you enjoy your walk yeah it wasn't nowhere near as, nowhere bad, near as, as, bad, as bad as i thought it would be yeah, it wasn't no. cold at all. okay so we're gonna go off and go to that farm shop if you're happy to drive we'll check uh, it was fine i think so we'll give it a go and if it gets if it's no no good we'll turn around and come back here okay okay bunny we all set to move where are we headed oh yes there's a road close sign down here yeah, because the tide's still coming in but it, it's a 
about an hour before high tide. Yes. So hopefully we'll be able to drive through and we're not going to park there. It's only a short distance, but don't follow our example. Yeah, it does come in, doesn't it? Ooh. Uh -huh. Just a little puddle at the moment. Yes, good job we didn't leave it much later. Come on, birdies, yeah. out the way. Come on, birdies, out the way. Yeah, so. Yeah, see this road does get flooded. Yeah. Nip through, Nip through quick. Yeah. It's about half a mile to safety. Oh, bummer. Okay, on the reverse and three point two later. Go the other way, bunny. Yeah. We can do it. Yeah. So that's in there. That red close sign is down. They've closed the barrier. Didn't realise they did that. Well, it's still got an hour to go, and it's halfway over the road nearly already, so yeah. it probably will cover the entire road. Farm shop, that one. Oh, where do Don't we know where you park. I'm going to go. Co Lane Business Park. And Just park here, around then. the back. It smells nice. It smells nice, doesn't it? Lovely pie smell. Yeah. Right, well, we definitely need some bread, some eggs. Yes. Yeah, we'll get <laughs> some sausage. Oh, yeah. good. Which, so what do you about, recommend? Right? Yeah. We're doing about 200 kilos of them a week. Limey. Um, we supply like lime wood. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. But that's well, we're not natural. local, so no. no yeah. No. Um, but yeah, they get they get around with one lots of awards, lots of trophies and stuff. Fantastic. Down there. All right. All right, then we'll try some of those. Range, port and mm -hmm. Yeah. So, fantastic. Yeah, all, really good product. Okay. We'll, we'll get some get of those some for those. sure. Ask the young man behind the butchery. Yeah, we will do. Thank Cheers. you. A large farmhouse. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, well, we're going to do uh, mushrooms on toast. Yeah, okay. So what's this? Peppered butter. Mm. Sea salted butter. Butter, yeah. Real butter. Okay, stick it in the bag. So, a uh, big thank you to Tristan Kez for suggesting the Crow Farm shop. Yeah, good one. Yeah, we got a load of goodies in there. It's really good and I'll put a link to their channel in the description so you can go and check them out. Now we've just uh, driving off to another car park where we can park up and make ourselves some lunch. Yeah, looking forward to that. My belly's rumbling. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, is it 10, ten metre turn, turn around? around? yeah. Last. Oh, turning around. Around, then. yeah. Back down here, okay. Mm. So just up here, I think, on the left. Mm. Quite entrance, isn't it, on a bend? It looks a bit tight. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's not many spaces there. Can we get in down there next to that blue one? Oh, up here. Oh, that one would do us, will not it? Yeah, that'll do us nice and level too. What are you making? Mushrooms on toast and a fried egg. Yummy. We're using lard, aren't we? Because we've run out of olive oil. Mm. Lard probably works better for this yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, I think it does. So it's not bad, this little car park, is it? No. I was worried it might not be level, but it's fine, isn't it? 
finding this little bit here and actually yeah. over the back there there's two level spots yeah a little bit tight though if it was really small. busy yeah well, luckily probably we wouldn't be much fun lucky we managed to get a space mm. weather seems to be improving doesn't it yeah it's forecast for strong winds again this afternoon mm. did you just drop the lid of the kettle inside the kettle again yes they're not the greatest kettles, are they, those ridge monkey not ones? Not for camping in a camper van. No. They're probably good for outdoor... If you're on the side of a riverbank, carp river bank, fishing. Carp fishing, they're probably good. Right, kettle on. Mmm, those mushrooms smell the business. Oh. That grill does lovely toast, doesn't it? it certainly does. Is this the bread we bought just now? Yes. John Collier, John Collier, the windows to watch. I've got that on the brain. Where is that from? That's an advert from years ago, I think. Oh, I've never heard that. I keep singing it. Ask Perplexity, who was John Collier? I keep singing an advert that goes like this John Collier John Collier the windows to watch what is the history of that sounds like a clothes men's clothes shop or something probably you can't talk when I'm doing oh, voice sorry. dictation John Collier the windows to watch is associated with a historical reference to Stockton England it refers to the architectural heritage of Stockton where looking up at the windows reveals glimpses of the town's past. This phrase captures the essence of observing and appreciating the historical significance of buildings in Stockton by focusing on their windows. Mm. It might well do, mate, but I think it was an advert as well that I used to sing. I'll ask it, was it an advert? Mm. Here comes lunch. Mmm, look at those lovely mushrooms. Delicious. Now then, look at this beautiful egg you've done. Let's cut it through. Yummy, perfect. Just how I like them. Mm. They're very underrated mushrooms on toast, I think. In it goes. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Mm. This weather is so changeable, isn't it? Little doggy coming back over the hill there from the oh, two little dogs. A very nice lunch, Bunny. Thank you very much. I'll have one of those pork pies later. Hello, little dog. Do you enjoy your walk? One ear tucked behind your ear. Now then, we're going to try this beautiful pork pie, which we just got from Crow Farm Shop. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm munching pastry at the moment. I can tell you the pastry is delicious. Well, that was a blooming good recommendation because they are absolutely delicious. And yes, I think I can say this is the best pork pie I've had so far. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm really yeah. intrigued. What I believe you're cooking in there. Andrew and Claire will give you a good laugh. They're softy northern campsite huggers, but well worth a watch. So Dora is getting really big. Aren't you, Dora? And this is Pablo, and they are best friends, as you can see. Okay, so that was the Smuggler's car park near Burley. It's great for parking during the day, but no overnights. Ice creams are still going strong. There's always ice creams here every season of the year. Well, they do well because they, they have every topping that you can imagine. Yes. And it's the right tourist trap here in Burnley, isn't it? You always yeah. get a lot of tourists. Well, we were going to get some fudge. But we're not going to bother now because Burley doesn't want us. We're not able to get under the barriers. So we'll clutter off and spend our money somewhere else.
Perhaps one day I'll hit the lotto Then my bills would all be paid Money no longer would be a bother My life would never be the same We could travel all around this world Fly first class every day But if I never hit the lotto Would you still love me anyway? Perhaps one day I'll reach the big time Taking a walk to have a look at the campsite at Stony Cross. I don't think we've never stayed here, have we? No, we haven't. Looks to be plenty of caravans and stuff on it. Yeah. Wonder how much it is. The one at Brockenhurst was £36 a night, I think. Hollandswood one on the main road. Yeah. Yes. This one will probably be the same. I think that's a joke myself because I don't think they've got, they haven't got hookup or anything, have they? Oh, this one hasn't got showers or hookup. Yeah. I think the Hollandswood one has got toilets. This whole area used to be an airfield and the campsite is where they used to park the aircraft up, isn't it? Or one of the areas they used to do that. One of those sites where you can park wherever you want, isn't it? Looks like it, yeah. Yeah, because there's no hookups or anything. So you got drinking water. Oh, and that's a chemical waste disposal yeah. unit. And um, big bins for your rubbish. Yeah, bins for your rubbish. And free Shetman ponies. Yeah. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Are you in the sun? Hey, don't go away. <laughs> Turn your bottom on me. He doesn't want to be bothered with the bias, does it? No. Which way are we going? Going down here? Well, I want to take a oh. picture of a cute Come on then, cross. You're all right. And what the dog thinks of them. I suppose it just gets used to them after a while, doesn't it? He thinks they're big dogs. Yeah. So here's one of the old concrete dispersal points. You can see it's in the shape of a circle. Yeah. There's quite a lot of road noise here. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, from the A35. Is it, uh, it the bring back um, all the memories of caravanning? Yeah. All the extra kit that you had to carry with yeah. you. advantage you just set yourself up here for the week and that's then, it yeah and then you can just go off in your car and explore I'm always a bit nervous when we come to the forest aren't we because we got broken into several times in our car didn't we yeah well we had a jeep once didn't we a little suzuki jeep yeah and it looked like obviously in the back there was a cool box and another box for a battery yeah because there's a battery point in the boot Somebody broke in, obviously thinking it was tools or something. Yeah. So these are your camp toilets. Yeah. Got a lake at the entrance, look. New Forest Folk Festival, July the 3rd to the 7th. Mmm. The moat's not very effective. Well, it's a lovely campsite, oh, but... Right. If, with that road noise, it's mm. it's not very peaceful, is it? No, considering you're in a forest, yeah. a national forest, I expect it to be nice and peaceful and quiet. Yeah. Lots of animals around. We've got some very nice woods though here for the kids to play in yeah it's just going to say big old trees for climbing yeah. a little seating area well oh, a like a jamboree area where, yeah dare you enter the woods as long as we don't get lost <laughs> we have been lost in the woods before haven't we bunny yes in the dark many, many years ago yeah. we were 
Last, that was before GPS and everything was yes. widely available, wasn't it? Yeah, so you didn't have mobile phones or anything. No such thing as mobile phones. No. And uh, we went a little bit wrong when we were out deer spotting one night. Yeah, we thought we knew the path because we'd been there so often. Yeah. But we took a wrong turning and got a bit lost. And it wouldn't have been so bad, but embarrassingly, I... Was I, I was a sergeant at the time, wasn't I? Yeah. And um, we'd gone camping with my chief inspector. <laughs> only because normally the ranks didn't mix like that, did they? No. But it was only because we had a caravan and he really wanted to know about caravans and fancied getting one. And that we actually started going away with him. We went away on their first trip, didn't yes, we? Yes, help them set it all up. Yeah. Yeah. And it was those two that were with us when we We were managed, showing them our deer spotting yeah, walk. And managed dusk. to get lost. <laughs> it got dark and we got lost. I thought my career was over. Yeah. There's a lot more work, I think, with a caravan. You look at it, you've got, you've got that waste water. You've got your cold water outside, which you've got to protect when it's really cold. Put the legs down. We just rock up, put the handbrake on and get in the front, in the back, Turn don't the we? Seat round, yeah. yeah. You're in. No tents beyond this point. The camper vans must have their own chemical toilet. Why is that then? They've got a toilet block. Is it that the toilet block is not open all the time? Maybe they close it at night. Maybe the horses try and get in. Yeah, maybe. Here we are, Billy No Mates. That was a very nice walk. Yeah, pleasant. Got the old cobwebs out, didn't it? Yeah. It's nice, nice walking round here. It's not many hills on No. <laughs> I just get a picture of the van. Okay. <laughs> Don't fall backwards now. <laughs> All right. She made it. Coming. Good. Oh, moody sky. Yeah, it is. Right, we're off to Tesco's to get a few supplies. We're uh, navigating with Waze now on this uh, thing because the road quality is so bad. Um, Waze is the only app that I know that can give you the locations of potholes. And um, it's a bit of a quirky app, but it um, is Proving its worth on this trip, isn't it? Yep. Might be a bit flicky, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, Lindhurst is all nicely lit up. And we've come to Waitrose instead of Tesco. All right, we've made it to the camp. So apparently we've got a big storm coming in. Can you remember the name? Cam Nelson. Storm Nelson. So they're forecasting 70 mile per hour winds. I don't know if that's here, but we'll check it out once we get everything straight. This is what we're making tonight, chicken curry with a sauce of potatoes, some carrots and onion, chicken thighs and we're going to have them with these chapati style bread. <laughs> so what's the latest on this storm they're saying? Well it's not going to be so bad tonight but if we this is it tomorrow coming through from six o'clock in the morning and then it's this bit here you've got to watch so by midday and then tomorrow afternoon three o'clock four o'clock so late afternoon <coughs> it's going to be at its worst okay so maybe be away from here yeah but 
then we'll check it again tomorrow. Yeah. Be changing. Right, all my veg and potatoes, etc., are in there. And we're just going to cook this slowly now for about 35 minutes, I think. I'm going to watch those happy days. They've got a big announcement tonight. I wonder what that can be. It's finally over. We have some heartbreaking news for you. Hang on a second. Okie dokie, put it on, Bunny. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, so we're back potentially for the last time. And we've never done it before, and we just thought we'd right. give it a go. The place where we're heading to is of massive ancient historical significance. Right, we've got the parties warming up, the curry's ready. So that's all right. In fact, I want to let that cool down a bit now. Uh, I cooked the chicken thighs whole and then when they were all cooked and it was just before it was ready I uh, used a pair of tongs to hold each chicken thigh and snip it up with scissors and that's the easiest way because you don't get any mess. How's your curry bunny? Tasty, I'm starving. Good, <laughs> hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm sure I will. That's right. Well, spicy. Yeah. Now we're going to watch Bob Earnshaw now, see their new van Connie. Today we're off to pick up our new motor and we're going for a Swift Kutiki 784 and uh, currently in our old van. Obviously. Very nice too. What's this then? Vanilla and biscoff. Mmm, yummy. Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, and if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. See you soon.